Hi everybody, I just wanted to jump on here and make a quick video to share with you what I've been working on the last few months. And that is this platform right here, Project Planner AI. I've been building this with another content creator, Web Dev Cody. I think it's a common inside joke that we usually don't finish side projects or we just have a lot of side projects that we start and don't complete, whether it be for a bunch of different reasons, if it's lack of planning, not sure what to do next or how to create a product and a lot of, a lot of other things but we felt that maybe a solution could be to have just a platform to manage all of the projects in one place maybe that might solve the problem and we are testing it out with ourselves and i'll show you that in a second but yeah here's the platform i just wanted to give you a quick demo and talk you through our thought process and the tech stack we use so as you can see this is our landing page and here are some of the reasons why why we created the project right like what when you are juggling so many different side projects it's hard to catch up where you last left off or switching in between projects there's a lot of time that is wasted to try to catch up to speed or uh, what items are priority and whatnot so we wanted to streamline that process and make it easier yeah and then if we go to our dashboard this is what it looks like so this is my current dashboard and all the projects that i've added and that i am working on and the status of them so one project that i've been live streaming a few times is tech stack finder and these are some of the items we are still improving the platform obviously so uh just bear with us but it's a lot of work that has been put in and thought and we are continuing trying to see if this is a viable solution and whatnot so here is the plan that ai generated for me but since I had the project already in mind or started, you know, this is a nice, nice to have, but these are some suggested icons. Um, if you are on the upgraded uh, pro plan or premium plan, and these are some other uh, competitive analysis for things that already exist out there, which is pretty cool, which would like save me time or like see what other people are doing. And here are some design options that they gave me and whatnot. And here are some work items, things that I've been working on and need to do or have in progress and resources. I could put any other resources here rather than have like a bookmarks within my browser. I could just go here and it'll be easy like per project. I know like where all my links are and whatnot. And we also have a file section. So if we have any files that we want to store, it sort of acts like as a Google Drive, but just in one location. And we also have a lot of different other features like finances, how much um, it costs to run it. And we are still trying to improve, you know, the things that we have. And we have an in-app messaging feature. So if you are working on an app with or a project with multiple different people, you could have all the messages in one place. So these are just ideas that we've thought along the way. And also recently we implemented a, a dark mode that you can see here and if you want to delete the project of course you have the option to do that so just implementing basic crud operations and whatnot so let me walk you through like what our tech stack right now is so our like the framework that we're using is so let me zoom in a little bit yeah so the framework that we're using is Next.js for our front end and we have come across a couple like caching issues but right now it's it's working fine and we both have experience with it so that's why we chose that as our fr our framework slash like front end um stuff so next yes yeah, specifically 14 with the app router and then for our uh, back end slash database we are using a platform called uh, convex which uh, Cody has introduced to me it's a really awesome platform if you want to go check it out um, they have a hackathon also going on but yeah this is this is their website the only decision for your back end and you can do everything in here like set up your schema and it, it's like it runs its own server uh, when you deploy it and you just create a project within their platform and that is what we are using at the moment and it's also real time so that's cool if there's any like uh if you're like i said working with another teammate then you could see in real time the updates that they've made and you don't have to set up anything extra and then for styling we are of course tailwind css 
as well as a Shad CN UI, which is a very popular component library. And then for our analytics to see like who's visiting the website or like what kind of engagement that we're getting, we are using post hog as well as for SEO, we are using Google search console. We went through a couple iterations on how we are hosting this. We were using initially, I think we started, I don't remember. I don't remember if we tried Supabase first. But then uh, we, uh, Cody set up, uh, or we used SST and AWS. SST is a tool to deploy um, our project uh, on AWS. So SST for tooling, and then also um, AWS. But now we sort of pivoted recently to using uh, Railway, and we have a our our project hosted on a Docker container. How I understand it, um, I hope I am saying this correctly. And then what else is left? For payments, we are using Stripe. Uh, so if users come on, like you see, if we go here, we have two different plans, like I mentioned before. Um, let's see if I go to pricing. This is what it looks like. We got a free plan. In the free plan, you're able to create one project and you have access to most of the uh, features except the AI features. And then if you upgrade to the premium plan, then you get that feature. So we built that with um, using Stripe and Stripe webhooks. And then what else are we using? What else do we have? I think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some AI features as well and we are using open AI API for that. And, and what else? And we are also actually using our platform to manage the status of, you know, what we have. So we have a Teams and it's us working on it together. And this is like all of the work items that we have left that we need to do and some of the feedback that we we've that we've received from users. So we are trying to knock it out one by one. I forgot for emails, we are using resend, of course. And the emails are specifically for like invite, um, invite collaborator emails. This is the tech stack that we've been building upon. And our goals are to try to now focus more towards uh, improving our current features and making something that is useful and like i said hopefully solve the problem of forgotten side projects or at least you know make progress on them and achieve your goals and help you uh you know with either having a better resume or you know making side income and all that good stuff so yeah that's what we've been working on um it's been a journey it's been awesome working with someone else so highly recommend you know if you could find someone to collaborate with a project on but yeah hope this was like sort of insightful and yeah that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions or want to try it out please feel free like i said it would be really helpful and yes that's it